Good afternoon, everyone. Snowstorm alerts again in China. This follows on the heels of the same blizzards that rolled through at the same time Stella rolled through in the Northeast United States. Anywhere in gray going to be hit with snow and blizzard conditions. Monthly snowfall needs to add a whole new category in Japan, up from 500 centimeters all the way up to 800 due to the increases this year in snow. I did a rod. Record cold at the start. Greenland ice still breaking all records for ice growth. Bermuda record cold. And please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 while you're watching the video and join me on many Ice Age conversations for my newest episode where I talked with Joe Seidowitz about traveling to Myanmar to buy coffee. Last week when Stella was rolling across the Northeast United States, D.C., paralyzing the eastern U.S. seaboard, blizzards raging across China as well. And they just have a new snow alert issued today for the next three days, extending through the 21st. Let's take a look at last week. Most of the northern part of China had snow and blizzard conditions, extremely heavy winds. Anywhere that you see that gray color experienced extreme winter weather. Now, when you think of Tibet, you think of very high altitude plateau area, and it is an inland desert, basically. It receives almost no rainfall. It is so dry up there. That's why this was incredibly unusual. The wind pattern had shifted and sent snow through the Tibetan plateau, which is unusual at this time of the year. And even more unusual is the depth of the snow. I mean, they only receive possibly up to three inches for the entire year, yet they got this here in a single storm. A little bit further down in the lowlands area in Gyeongzi, farmers are incredibly happy that the heavy snowfalls come because it'll create better soil conditions for spring seeding. That's how rare it is. It makes the news because it's going to help the farmers in China. They don't generally report on this type of stuff. And then jumping over to Japan, the cyclonic low ripping over the island chain. There it is offshore, 70 mile an hour winds. Blazing right across Korea, slamming through the sea, and then off over Japan, out into the Pacific. Hawaii is going to get some mega waves off of that one. And interestingly enough here, when we take a look at the total centimeters of snow, let's look at 2013-14 right at the top there. Top measurements, 500 centimeters. Now, I'll draw your attention to 2016-17 at the bottom. That is 800 centimeters. They had to raise that to accommodate all the new snowfall. So you can see the region by the color with the key at the bottom there. And also 2015-16, I was wondering when did the changeover start last year? Because 2015-16 still at 500, and then the new year, the totals here are, are up to 800 as the update. Definitely more snow falling across Japan. That follows the cyclical pattern right back to the late antique little ice age. I did a rod. The famous dog sled race, coldest start in history. And I love how the reporter writing the story focuses back in on the global warming aspect of a record cold event. So the extreme cold right now is just a short term phenomenon. And then the extreme cold seems notable now, but when you average out all the temperatures for the race, it's going to be a pretty typical race period temperature. Notice how they switch the record cold to it's going to be average. Instead of focusing right on the record cold, but no, focus on it's going to be an average temperature after you average in this one little blip cold thing. But forget about that. Everything else is going to be pretty normal. Let's jump over to the Greenland ice budget. That blue line is record increases in snow and ice across the entire Greenland ice sheet. So those of you global warming screaming, oh, the Greenland ice sheet's melting. It's the warmest year ever. Please do your homework. Jump over to DMI. Take a look at actually where the ice and snow is increasing most on that southeast quadrant, which is very close to Iceland. Iceland had record snow this year, didn't it? Just about a week and a half ago. So you can see things are changing all across the northern hemisphere. And speaking of islands, let's go down to Bermuda, a beautiful tropical holiday destination. Get away from the cold. Oh, wait, record cold in Bermuda. The old record was 52 degrees Fahrenheit. The new record, 47.7. That old record was in 1978, though, which was the coldest period in, say, the last uh, 80 to 100 years. This record's even colder than that. So where's our climate going? We are going to actually eclipse and get cooler than the 70s. 
coming up over these next few years. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And speaking of things that keep your body healthy, jump over to getthetea.com. Ronnie has a full line over there of nutraceuticals and detox formulas that really help to boost your immune system and keep your body functioning at full capacity. I like the Moringa extract. I was introduced to Moringa in Asia, and I liked it so much that when I came back, talked to Ronnie, he set me up with the Moringa, and I really like it because it gives me that energy boost and it keeps my mind clear so I can function all day.